Hi, this is JP here with Brizzy. And in this Total Beginners video, we're going to look at how you set the homepage within WordPress. Now, you would think that WordPress will know which page should be the homepage, but it doesn't. And let's first have a look at what do we mean by the homepage. Now, if you have a website address like brizzy.io and you share that with people, that is the page that they will land on when they type in brizzy.io. So you can say that is your home page. When you first open WordPress and you create the page and you call it your home page, you will find though that WordPress does not take you to that page. And the reason is WordPress doesn't know that is the page that you want it to be as your home page. So you need to go and set it. You need to tell WordPress, hey, this page I have created is the one that you should load when people type in my website address. Let's go into our WordPress and let's go and have a look at how that works and where you can go and make those settings. I'm here within the dashboard and let me just quickly show you first what we've got here. I have a site already with a few pages and I've got a number of pages here. And over here, you see that I've created a home page. And this is the page that I would like to show when people come and visit my site. If I click here on view, you will see it will take me into that page. Right, not a bad page. Everything looks good here. But look what happens when I go back into the WordPress admin panel. And then when I just click here to visit the site, it gives me this. It doesn't give me that home page. And this is the default setting within WordPress. It will always by default show you your posts archives, which is the page on which all your posts will appear. Currently, there is one post, which is the default post that comes with a new install of WordPress. If I go again into the admin panel and I go to posts, you will see over here is that post called Hello World. Of course, I don't want this page to be the one that people will find when they get to my site. You can see up here, here is my website URL. It does not display my home page. Let's go back into the admin panel. And to do that, you go over to settings. And under settings, you choose reading. And reading is not like you and me reading a book. It is what will WordPress read when people do certain actions. If you click on reading and at the very top, you will see your home page displays. And currently it is set to your latest posts. So I had shown you that one post and that is the one that we saw. That is not what we want people to see when they come to our site. To do that, you simply select the one under it and that says a static page. And if you don't know what is a static page, don't care. It's basically just any other page that you create here under pages. This means that now you can choose any of those pages as the page that will show when people type in your site URL. To do that, you will have to assign that to the home page. And you see you have two options here. One is the home page and one is for the posts page. Here we'll only be working with the home page. So from the drop down menu, there are all the pages that I have created. And naturally, I want to choose this one. This is the one that I had created for my home page. This is the one I want people to find when they type in my site URL. Select that and very importantly, click here on save changes. Now, if I go up here and click on my site, my home page is the page that people will see when they type in this brizzy prolocal this is probably one of the first things that you will always do when you create a new site is you create the home page under pages. And then once you have that home page, you go to settings, reading, choose a static page, and then assign that home page or whatever page you want to your home page and then save it. Hope this was a useful tutorial for all you beginners and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay in touch with the latest videos and updates.